Welcome back guys. This is section 5.2 and today I am going to talk about question 13. So here the logical circuit has been given in the form of table 5.8 which is basically the truth table. Okay. So what is this statement here? Implement a logic circuit okay, uh, for the truth table in table 5.8. So this is table 5.8 to which different inputs and a single output has been given. And for it, I have to implement the logic circuit. Okay, so let me uh, solve it. So solution for it. So uh, the first thing here is that I have to see that what is the domain of it. So the domain of it is composed of the inputs. So I have here A, B, C, and uh, for these inputs, I have to calculate the sum of product form. So S O P form for it will be what I as I have previously shown you guys that what I have to do. I have to select all the uh, inputs or the terms for it the output is one so this is first this is second this is third fourth and fifth and i have to make each product equal to one by complementing them and then adding them together so this is a first term here so zero 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 and here i have to make it what that would be a complement b complement c complement okay the second term here is here so here a is zero b is one and c is zero so what i have to do i have to write it a complement b is one so the product it will not affect and therefore c it should also be complemented to make it what uh, one okay similarly the third one is one zero zero so here a is uh, not 0 and b and c are 0 so therefore i have to complement it them so a b complement c complement okay uh, the second last one here is that a b c so that is 1 1 0 so what i have to do i have to make it a b c complement okay and the last one is 1 1 1 because for it the output is also 1 so that would be what that would be a b c okay so after it what will be the step i have to add them together in order to get the um, output of it so that would be the summation of them and that is what that is the sum of product form for my question and it is now very easy to implement them okay so it will be the same way in which i was basically uh, implementing all the circuits for which the expression or the boolean expression was given so here what is the first step i have to see the uh, number of inputs so the number of inputs for it i have number of inputs i have are three and those are a b and c okay and the domain of, of it is also this so let me move somehow here okay so let me move down here and let me now write these inputs so here a b c and these are one two three okay so the first expression uh, let me draw them by using the color which is here or let me use this white color for it okay so that is a complement b complement c so in order to complement it what i have to do in order to complement i will use the gate which is the inverter so to inverter i will have here okay so the outputs of these inverter are a complement b complement and c complement okay these are the outputs of it and uh, the after this inversion i have to what add uh, i have to multiply them because a b a complement b complement c complement are multiplied together so let me multiply them and for it i am going to use uh, this color so to add the three inputs are one two three and the output of it will be here so it will be here here and here and the output of it will be here and let me write it with this white color a complement b complement c complement okay the second term here is a complement bc so the second 
gate is again and gate okay so this is the and gate one two three and to it a complement b and c are given so the a complement will be um, here okay uh, c complement will be from here while b will be from here okay so what i have to do these are the outputs of it so here i will have a complement b c complement will be the output okay for the third term here i will have a b complement c complement again i will have the third and gate okay so two three inputs are here and here i have a b complement c complement so uh, c complement is uh, here so first let me draw this a okay because this is uncomplemented so this will be here okay and the other two terms are now complemented so uh, this is what this is a second term so let me draw from here to here this is here and the c complement is here okay so the output of it will be again with this color so a b complement c complement okay uh, let me move somehow down as well okay so here this will be what the other gate will be here and here i will have again three inputs and to in to this gate i will have here a b c complement so a b a and b are both here so let me use this a for it here b for it uncomplemented here and c is complemented so therefore what i am going to use this here so it will be here and what i will get here i will get here a b c complement okay and the last gate here is for it that is now this a b c okay so let me move down and after it what i will do i will add them all together so this is will be the expression and i am going to implement it here so let me move down somehow as well okay and here the last gate is this three input and gate and to it a b c is given so uh, a is again here b is from here because these are uncomplemented and c is again here sorry and c is here okay so these are here and the output of it will be a b c okay so now i have to add them together and to add them what i will have to use i have to use the or gate and to implement or gate i will have here and this will be what i it will have five input so one two three four five okay to add the first input is this one to add the second is here the third one is here this is the fourth one while the last one will be here and this is what this is the output which i wanted to find out here and this is the same output which i had here and here it is a complement b complement c complement plus a complement b c complement plus a b complement c complement let me write others here so a b c complement plus a b c okay so what is this this is x and this is the required expression which i had to find out and this is the solution of the question which i had here okay so that's it for today in which we have seen the solution for question number th 13 in which first of all the table or truth table is converted to the sop form okay which is now mentioned here so this is what this is the sop form the table is first converted here and then uh, after finding the domain of it all of it is now converted into the circuit which can be seen here in this form okay so it is now very clear 
that this is the implementation of the expression which is given so i hope all the steps are now clear to you guys and i hope to see you guys again with another very interesting video uh, which will demonstrate the solution of other questions of uh, this section